Hey guys, all right, so this is gonna be a video tutorial uh, regarding my uh, LaunchBox racing build and where and how to set up the emulators. Um, so first things first I wanna talk about is that this build has to be placed on your C drive, okay? Uh, this is set up for the C drive and the C drive only. If you do not place this in the root of your C drive, it's not gonna work. Um, so if you place it on your F drive or your D drive or your E drive, it's not going to work unless you change the path to the emulators. So go to your this PC in your local disk C. Place the launch box folder directly on the C drive. Place the Fast and Furious games also on the C drive. I don't have Superbikes working right now, but I'm leaving it on here in case I do get it working. It's on here and I can provide a video on how to get it working. The Fast and Furious games specifically have to go on the C drive. They're the only games in this build that do. Sorry for my background noise. My, I'm in my basement and I'm right next to my furnace, which is running my air conditioner right now. So like I was saying, Fast and Furious games, no matter what, have to go on to the C drive. If you don't place them on the C drive, it's not going to work. Same thing with the LaunchBox build that has to go on the C drive. So located in the LaunchBox folder, you'll see another LaunchBox folder open that. You're going to find your emulators folder, okay? Excuse me. Double click your emulators folder and here are all your emulators. We're going to start with MAME, okay? Open up MAME and I want you to delete uh, this FP plugin GUI. I don't even know what that is. Just delete it. Any I and I you see delete so the MAME INI file, I want you to delete, and any other INI files that you find, I want you to also delete them. If you see any DLLs or this BDF, I want you to leave that there. Go up and also delete the CFG file, which is your configuration file. Delete that, and then delete the CFG backup, okay? When we open up MAME, it's going to create a whole new one. So go to your MAME64 application, double click it to open, and we're open. You want to go to configure options, you want general inputs, user interface, we'll start here. This is where you, um, this is where you set your exit button. So you want to go to UI cancel, select it press your exit button that you want to be your dedicated exit button for main. Press it again, hit your escape key on your keyboard so you have a backup escape button just in case. Now go to your player one controls. The only player one controls you have to mess with is your start button. So player one start, set your start button. Select, hit your select button, then go down And you want to go to pedal. So you want player one or P1, pedal one, analog. Analog DEC is decrease, which means brake. So hit your enter button, set your brake button. For your analog INC, that means increase. That means you want gas. Hit your enter button, hit gas. Okay? If you have actual pedals, I apologize. I don't know how to set those up. I never have. Um, your paddle analog is your steering, okay? There's only one way to do it. So you hit enter, turn your paddle left, or turn it right, however you want. So it says Joy One Access. That's it for main. Hit escape, go to other controls. Under player one start, you want to hit your start button. And then your player one coin, you want to hit your coin button. Controls are now set up for main. You want to go to advanced options. If you want to shut off your bezels, use overlays off, bezels off. That's it. Hit escape. Go to your video options. Enforce aspect ratio turn off if you want a full screen. Leave start out maximized on. Go to return previous menu. Save configuration. Return previous menu. Take your mouse, go to exit. You've now set up main. 
next, we're going to go to the mall. Select the mall, go to the, the mall EXE, go to your configurations, and go to controls. You want to do arcade, Joy 1. Now, your analog up is your gas button, your analog down is your brake button. Left is left, right is right. Uh, your push one, uh, you can set your controls for that. I usually set these up, doesn't matter how you do it, do it to your liking. Your coin button, set your coin. Start button, set your start button. This is going to set up a Thomas Wave and Naomi. There is no Dreamcast and there are no um, console games on this build. This is strictly arcade. Next, you want to go to Dolphin Triforce. I believe you want to go to Mario Kart GP. We can double check that right now. Let's go to Launchbox. Let's go to Triforce. We have Mario Kart 2, but let's hit Edit. Let's go to Emulation. Dolphin Triforce, let's hit edit, and it is Mario Kart GP the first one, not GP2. So let's hit cancel, cancel, let's drop this down, Mario Kart GP, Dolphin WX, EXE, and you want to go to GameCube pad. You want to set your coin button, which is I believe button number Z. Not sure why that's not working. Probably because I gotta go to APAC, that's why I do. So make sure you set your device, obviously. So now go to your Z button, set your coin. Start button is your start. Your triggers. Your R button is your gas. Your L button is your brake. Your uh, you want the main stick. So you can set up down, left, right if you want to. You really only have to do left or right. But do left, do right. Actually, you do have to do up and down when you're choosing characters. Pull up, pull down. Uh, I believe you want to also set your A button so that you can choose or shoot things too. Um, set the B button, and then your X button however you want to set it. Click OK. You are now set up for Dolphin Triforce to play Mario Kart GP, which is the arcade version. Better than the, um, uh, what do you call it, the Techno Parrot version too. You can ignore Hikaru, because we don't have Hikaru set up. Go to Model 3. Model 3 UI EXE. Go to Control. And you want to go to config. Move that over to the side. You want to hit your player one star, take your mouse, get over it so it starts blinking. Press enter. Player one start. To skip player two, just press the down button on your keypad. And then for coin, press enter. And there you go. Now we have to press down, go slow too, so you don't want to skip over it. We have to set our steering controls for racing games. Um, so, virtual strikers, no. Racing games, steering left, press enter, turn left. Steer right, press enter, turn right. Full steering, press enter, you can turn left or right, doesn't matter. Accelerator is your gas, press enter, hit your gas button. Pedal or brake button, enter, hit your brake button. Uh, if you want to set shifters, you can set shifters. I don't do that because I don't have a shifter. Racing game views, I change my views. One, two, three, four. View change in racing game. And brake in 
Uh, I believe that says Harley. No, that's not Harley. It's just handbrake. Handbrake, rear brake, Harley Davidson. Music selection for Harley Davidson. And that's it. Those are the only ones you have to do. When you see virtual on controls, you don't have to set those. Now to save this, press the Q button on your keyboard and you just saved. Can X out of that. Go back to emulators. And then you have Techno Parrot. Techno Parrot, emulators, Techno Parrot, Techno Parrot UI. Now you have to set these one by one. All right, that's how Techno Parrot is. Techno Parrot isn't global. So we'll go to Daytona Championship and we'll go to settings. You wanna make sure you're on direct input, use keyboard for button access, controller setup, start button, you can do view change. Wheel axis left, wheel axis right, gas button, and brake button. Click save settings. Now you have to do this on every single game. Some of these games, they do require that you punch in a coin, so it's probably safe to go ahead and set up your coin button if needed. Um, You'll see some of them, I didn't set up the coin. So if you don't see a coin set up on these, you know, these do transfer over to the next build. So if you don't see a coin button set up on these, and chances are you don't need a coin, but if you do go into a game and it's saying that you need a coin, then go ahead and set your coin. Um, so like this one, just hit your start button. We can do a view change. Do wheel axis left. Wheel axis right, hit the gas button, hit the brake button, save settings, dirty driving, controller setup, hit start, you want to set your crank up, you want to set your view, gas, or I'm sorry, wheel left, wheel right, and your gas button. Like I said, you have to do that for every single one of these emulators on here in Techno Parrot. They're all individual, they're not global, and there is about 20 or 21 of them. Winter X Game Snowcross, I do not have working, um, but it's on here. And then the same thing with Superbikes. Like I said, Superbikes does not work on here at all. So let me show you a little bit of gameplay for, for this one, the Tony Championship. So if you get that, you just want to make sure that you go back to your local disk, your launch box, launch box, emulators, techno parrot, collections, ring edge, ROMs, Daytona, Daytona, Game EXE. I just probably forgot to change the setting on that one. I do apologize. So it's in the video. I'll go ahead and fix that in my download if needed. Uh, but otherwise, you just change your path. Hit your launch. Let it load up. It could take a minute. Techno Parrot is not fast, obviously. Do, 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 data loading, data loading. We'll go back and we'll check some of the other games too, just to make sure that they have the right path. I believe everything else does. I think Daytona was the last one that I was testing out when I was transferring games over to this build. I was testing it out from a separate um, 
uh, external that I have just to make sure that it worked before I officially transferred it over. This is all normal, just let it load. There we go. Left and right works. Gas button works. We want automatic. You change, you change, you change. I don't like that one. Woo! So there you go, Daytona works. Let's hit the escape button to get out of there. Let's just go check a couple of the other games. Battle Gear 4. Yep, C, C drive. Back button, dirty drive in. Game settings, C drive, Ford, game settings, C drive. Yeah, I think Daytona was the only one. Pretty sure it's safe to say that. Game settings, C drive. Let's check out run, C drive. Now, just to be clear too, I checked every single one of these games as I was loading these up. Every single one of them worked. Okay, I didn't just load them. I went into the actual gameplay to make sure that everything worked. So there you go. Go ahead and finish setting up your emulators or your controls over here for these arcade games for Techno Parrot. And then you can go to your, um, once you're completed, you can go to your LaunchBox folder and then launch LaunchBox. I already have it open down here. This is the LaunchBox build. So there are a total of 139 arcade only racing games. I did not put console games on here because um, as I've been putting console games on these Star Wars mods uh, for racing, they don't play very well with the yoke. Um, it's too hard to control. So I figured I wanna do an arcade racing only. I would probably enjoy it better and I think other people would also enjoy it better too. So I went through all my emulators that are arcade only and I put in every single racing game that I could possibly put in. Every single one of them works. There isn't one that doesn't. So um, we're going to go ahead and we can go into an arcade. Actually, we can go ahead and we can launch Big Box. And let's do a B Kong impression right here real quick. We're going to go ahead and we're going to launch Big Box. And we're going to do some game demos. This is my custom splash screen that I created for everybody so that they can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. And we're gonna go into some gameplay. If you see this, just go ahead and move your cursor over to no. You don't want to update and you don't want to pay for a new one. My license is expired for my, for my big box and my launch box uh, build, so therefore I just click on no. I do not plan on renewing them either. Let's go into some gameplay. We have Super Sprint, uh, but I want to do one of my most favorite games. Oh, excuse me. I believe I forgot to stop or did not set my controls for Big Box. So let's back out of here. Let's go down to the options. Let's go to controller mappings to navigate up. We want to pull the stick up. Uh, it's not working. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. We want to navigate up, go down, go down. Left is left. To navigate right is right. To select, I'm going to pull my trigger. To go back, I'm going to pull my left trigger. To play, we're going to leave that out. We're going to clear it. Page up, we're going to clear that too. Exit is going to be my dedicated. Ooh, let's clear that out. And there we go. Now we just set 
No, we don't want exit. We want close the active emulator. Close the active window. That's going to exit out of every single one of your games. Hope you like my VCOM impression. Give me a minute and I'll do a Bobby Vu impression. So, no. We can go up, we can go down. Let's select our arcade. I want to play some Cruise in USA. When you select the game, just go ahead and hit it once. And as long as you hear that chime, you're going to load up and be good to go. There you go. We're turning, we're gassing. I love playing with the Star Wars joke too. It's so smooth. Returns the center a lot easier than all the other ones. I have not done the outruns yet at all, but this will work with the outruns too. You can just follow Kong's or Us's video on how to mod your outrun, and then you're good to go. Um, you gotta get that little, uh, I think it's called the Geek Pie encoder. Um, I've used those on the Star Wars mods too. They work pretty good. I would prefer to use the APAC controller to be honest with you on a Star Wars mod. Those are pretty simple to do and wire up. Just follow again B Kong's video. Let's exit out of here. There you go. That is my, um, excuse me, this is my Launchbox Racing Arcade only build. I showed you how, how to map your emulators. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to say one thing this build is clean like a mother retro lizard yeah 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 enjoy guys thanks for watching